This is Bob Davis 321. Today I want to show you how to test uh, LCD backlight strips using two 9 volt batteries, a 100 ohm resistor, and uh, some jumper wires. I don't know why the jumper wire is hot. I must have shorted something out. Um, basically you have to fasten it all together in series. If you're using really old 9 volt batteries, you can leave out the resistor. Um, on the LED strip, here we go, it's marked positive and negative. If you have five LEDs, that's 15 volts. Kind of hard to get good contact so that it stays on, but anyhow, there it is working. When you have the uh, strips that don't have an end, uh, have an open end, it gets a little trickier. You connect the uh, negative to negative, positive to positive. And of course, nothing will happen because it's open at the far end. So you use another jumper clip. Uh, of course, I picked one that says DOA on it. That's really swift. Uh, you get one that works. Oh, that's not a dead end. But it is a dead end. Ah, here we go. This one's got the end connector on it. So basically, positive to positive, negative to negative, it's kind of hard not to short it out. That's why the resistor's in there. And of course, it's still a bit tricky to get to work. Particularly the short, I discovered it's really tricky to get that short at the end to work. And of course, while, oh, there we go. Got the light up for a second. I don't know if you saw that on the camera. Sometimes it's best to go on those pads. There's like a little copper pad right next to the uh, terminal. There we go. It's going to be extra bright because it's only four of them. Three times four is 12 volts. That's what it should light at. In theory, if you really wanted to test a middle strip and an end strip together, you could have you could do that with three 9 volt batteries. But I've never actually done that. But anyhow, that's how easy it is to test out LED backlighting strips using two 9 volt batteries and some resistor to limit the current. Thank you very much.